Yo, it's Willie Rowe. So today I want to discuss the differences between a psychedelic guide and a trip sitter, because both are essential roles in psychedelic experience and one person might be better suited for having a psychedelic guide guide them through their experience. And other people might just be better suited for a trip sitter. It depends on their intentions. It depends what they're searching for and their past experiences, their level of experiences with psychedelics. Um, yeah, and what if they want to break through certain mental and emotional blocks. Now, a trip sitter is typically someone who provides a safe and comfortable and supportive environment for the person undergoing a psychedelic experience. They're, a trip sitter will remain sober throughout the experience, and they're just there for the most part to ensure that the psychedelic user remains physically safe. And if they're there to assist them with anything that they need. So your trip sitter could be like a family member, a friend, or um, maybe even someone who, uh, who, who's just a professional trip sitter and has done these things before if you don't know anyone, but it should be someone you trust with all your heart, you know? Uh, a trip sitter typically will remain passive, and but they're there to provide emotional support when needed. You know, if you need your hand to be held, if you just need a hug, you need some tissues passed to you, you need a bucket because you need a puke, um, they're just there to take care of you, pass you a blanket if you need it, you got the chills or whatever. Um, or maybe you're just having a great experience and then you just want to like chat. You just want to talk about it. You know, you're just like, wow, wow, there's, there's this going on. There's that going on. And you just want to share it with somebody, you know, the trip sitter is always there. Uh, for me, whenever I've had a trip sitter, they would, would always remain in another room for the most part. My attitude was, um, uh, if you hear, any loud noises, uh, then check up on me. But for the most part, I'll be good, you know, because uh, I know myself well enough, especially with my level of experience. I'm, I'm pretty familiar with these spaces, but it's always safe to have a trip sitter nearby and uh, just check up on you once in a while. Um, if someone's just near me, observing me the whole time and is just sober, I'm just going to be kind of uh, self-conscious about that because it's going to look weird. I'm going to I'm going to probably be doing some weird things or looking weird at certain moments during the experience. Now, on the other hand, a psychedelic guide is someone who has experience, a lot of experience with psychedelic substances and can provide a specific sort of guidance and support throughout the whole experience so they're in with you throughout the whole thing um they might be completely sober most of the time most of the time a psychedelic guide would be sober unless they're a shaman they might actually do the substance with you um but a psychedelic guide is there to train you to they're trained to help the person navigate their thoughts and emotions and to facilitate a transformative and healing experience. Uh, the main difference between a trip sitter and a psychedelic guide is that the psychedelic guide is going to actively engage with the person using the psychedelic substance. They're going to probably offer insights and guidance. Um, and they're probably going to have their own ceremonial style of using these substances uh apply to your experience so for the most part they're going to do it the way that they're familiar with that they're trained to do it and you know if you're doing it in the style of with um if your psychedelic guide is like a western doctor or psychotherapist they're probably going to apply um therapeutic models from western psychotherapy and apply to the psychedelic experience and probably mix up some other new age techniques or shamanic techniques in the mix. Uh, but for the most part, 
It's just the style that they're familiar with. Uh, a trip saver won't do that. It's just your ride. You could do whatever you want as long as it's safe. They're just there to, you know, if you want to play, uh, have a play a certain soundtrack throughout the whole experience, a trip sitter is is all about that to support you you know while like a psychedelic guy they might say like uh they might have their own musical preference for the ceremony they want to conduct another important difference is that a psychedelic guide will have typically have a pre-session consultation to to discuss the person's goals their intentions any concerns just establish rapport for the experience and it probably it will probably um be more focused on breaking through mental and emotional blocks and trying to have a very healing experience so a psychedelic guide is definitely better suited to someone whose intentions are along those lines. They're trying to heal from something. They're trying to figure out how they can better themselves. Uh, they might have certain traumas in their life that they haven't gotten over, or they're just trying to figure themselves out. And you know they can't figure out why they behave in the way they do or why they think the way they do. They're just trying to get down to the root of things. And a psychedelic guide should be there to help you. And navigate that space and come to the root of what has grown to be um something that may might be haunting you in your life or is just like taking over you or something that you kind of just want to break up and just change into something new you know ultimately the decision to have a trip set or a psychedelic guide will depend on the person's goals for the experience and what their comfort levels are like you like i said i'm typically more like self-conscious if someone is just there observing me the whole time and i have my own like ceremonial style in using psychedelics so i'm not exactly interested in having a psychedelic guide majority of the time however there are there are uh, psychedelic guides like uh, shamans who have ceremonial styles, a ceremonial style that they've been using for thousands of years within their culture. And for me, that's fascinating. And I think that might be fascinating to a lot of people, um, even if they're not seeking a healing experience and they're just curious about these substances. So in that case, you know, I think it's definitely beneficial to have uh, a shamanic psychedelic guide. But, you know, it's to each their own, you know, it's up to to you and what you're comfortable with. And if, you know, you're just someone who's looking to do this recre recreationally, you know, just have a good time, but with respect, of course. And you're just a curious seeker. Uh, you know, maybe you saw a documentary on psychedelics or your friend did it, or you saw a doc, uh, uh, you read a book, like by Michael Pollan, like how to change your mind. And and you just want to see what this stuff is all about. Uh, maybe a trip sitter would be good for you. Maybe that would be perfectly fine. Um, but for those who are very nervous and very anxious about their experience and they have uh, they know they have a lot of past traumas and they have a lot of things that they need to work to work through within their hearts. Uh, a psychedelic guide would definitely be, be very beneficial. And like I said, there are different types of guides. There's those uh, who are licensed mental health professionals. There are therapists out there. They're going to apply their their style of therapy probably to the psychedelic experience. There are spiritual guides of men, not just shamans, but there's, you know, people in a new age community or or in yoga. They'll probably apply like meditation or breath work or or something along those lines to the psychedelic experience. Um, there's doctors and nurse practitioners who are, you know, they're they're very familiar with how to keep you physically safe and probably who shouldn't do psychedelics. 
So they serve as pretty good guides as well. So it all depends on the person, what they're com comfortable with and what they're open to. So that is just some food for thought on psychedelic guides and a trip setter. So thank you for watching this video. Much love to all you guys out there. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave a comment, show some love. I love you. I love you all. You know, it's all good. It's all love. And I'll catch you on the next video. Bye, Quinzios.